From News 5, here's your Power of 5 weather and today's top stories, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. I'm Power 5 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. It looks like you will need the coat if you are going to venture out. Maybe go for a walk tonight. It's going to be chilly. Temperatures dipping to the low 30s, close to freezing. But guess what? We bounce back nicely for Monday. We'll start off close to freezing, but we're close to 60 by Monday afternoon with a mix of clouds and sun. Tracy. Hey, Ramisha, thank you. Now here's a look at today's top stories. Hi, everybody. I'm Tracy Carlos. The Prime Minister of the United Kingdom is in the hospital 10 days after he tested positive for coronavirus. A spokesperson for Boris Johnson says it's a precautionary step because his symptoms have just persisted. There are now more than 4,000 coronavirus cases here in Ohio. More than 1,100 people are in the hospital, nearly 350 in ICU. 119 people have died, the biggest one-day increase in our state so far. Dr. Anthony Fauci, the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease, said today that there is a good chance that this new coronavirus will become seasonal. That's because it is unlikely to be completely eradicated globally this year. So the U.S. could see a resurgent during next flu season. He also says that states that don't have a stay-at-home order in place are putting themselves at risk. And a tiger at the Bronx Zoo has tested positive for coronavirus. Researchers think she caught it from a zookeeper who had the virus but was not yet showing symptoms. Several tigers and lions came down with a dry cough, so a vet tested one and it came back positive. The cats are doing well. This could indicate that humans can pass it to the animals. For the very latest news and weather, go to News5Cleveland.com or open our News5 app. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.